friends, and welcome back for another episode of the Catacomb Kids Let's Play. I'm so happy to be back, and I am looking forward to a little bit more punishment. Before we get started, I want to say thank you again for all the supportive uh, comments and tips and helpful strategies and things. I've honestly learned a ton about the game. Uh, things that are really kind of nuanced and silly that I might not have even thought to look out for because of a lot of your comments. Uh, again, I can't guarantee that I will implement all of them, but I am doing my best to learn and get a little better as we go. And I'm going to try to apologize maybe a little bit less in this episode for bad play, because honestly, this game is freaking hard, and if you can't tell, well, you should try it and see what happens, because it's hard. Anyway, let's try. Let's try what we can see what we can do, play as a bully again, as we have been, and uh, we'll see if we can implement at least one new detail worth of our play today. And even if that detail is something I've already done in the prior episodes, such as continue to loot corpses, I might be satisfied with that answer, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so I've had people tell me knives are actually better than I'm giving them credit for. In fact, I'm I almost knew that anyway. Like, whenever I say something is not good, it doesn't mean that I think it's unilaterally bad. It means that I might not make the best use of it. Uh, so, you know, I'll probably give them more chances, of course, in the future. I'm going to actually give one of them a chance right now, in fact, because we're going to go with the Venomous Knife uh, with four health because I was told that most of the grumbles on the first floors do three damage, so that might have a chance of keeping me alive a little bit longer. So we're going to try to focus on slow methodical play again, which is where I was starting at, and then I think I kind of got caught up a little bit in the minu- Okay, in the minutia of trying to, you know, make it to later levels and not waste your time with getting slow stuff happening. Okay, so we've got a blue potion already. Oh, there's our leveling orb already, too. That's fantastic. Uh, we can actually stow this, we'll carry it, and see if we can get to our exit. And I was told that I should always make sure I scope out for the leveling orb, because it's just silly to avoid it. So there's clearly some mushrooms up there. Another really, really handy hint, and I wish I had figured this one out on my own. Well, first of all, I can go through doors to respawn levels. I know people have wanted me to mention that before. Um, so in case I get a bad draw, I can always do that. Same with the kids when I start out. I might have to fall here. Not sure if there's a better option, actually, which is a little bit scary to me. Um, oh yeah, so the other good tip that I was told about is that I can basically uh, guarantee that every time when I run into one of these slime fellows, I can take a blob of slime, throw it through this fire here, and as it starts to melt, I can actually eat this for one health up every single time. Now, if I would have waited, that would have actually dissolved in my hand, so I had to eat it even though I didn't need health right there. Uh, in case you're wondering why I just did things the way I just did them. Alright, so let's see if we can kill this bat. Yeah, you go in the water, bat, and we'll see if we can maybe poison you. Or Yeah, alright, good enough. Um, there was a little debate in the comments that I'm not sure actually how to answer to to the end of that comment. Essentially, there's like some difference about whether or not like venom and poison are two separate things. And Honestly, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's a thing that we can elaborate on in the future, because I guess I'm curious. Uh, I also had people tell me not to waste books early on, because essentially I can save up points and then buy much, much better spells later, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm pretty sure you're right, but at the same time, I need every advantage that I can get right off the bat. Uh, Alright, so that's a poison. We've got two identified. Gotta keep in mind that I've got heavy, uh, which is definitely going to make things a little bit scary when I get around enemies like this. And, well, I'm starting to think maybe Dark Arts might be a good thing to look into around now, considering I might be able to actually use some of these spells at the moment. Let's see. Uh, so what, I have three charges and one learning point. So three charges means I can take Vampirism. Don't quite have enough for Plague. I was told that I can cast spells even if I don't have enough for them. Not sure how that works exactly, but maybe that's a thing I'll experiment with a little bit later. Um, so I can vanish into the shadows for a few seconds. That honestly seems like a good option for me. I think we're going to go for that. And I'll save the Orb of Leveling just for after whatever happens with this fellow over here. Oh my god, why? I didn't notice the freaking pedestal in the middle of that strangely textured floor. Ugh. Alright, well I guess we'll use the Orb of Leveling now. And what shall I put it into? I've had a number of people give me different directions about what's a good idea to level into. I mean, they're all good in different ways, it just kind of depends how you like to play, right? So, I'm just gonna stick to Focus Strike again in the event that that might save me somehow. I don't really know that it has very many times, but I'm still hoping for one opportunity where maybe it'll come and, uh, and be particularly useful. All right, wreck the slimes. Just wreck all this. Perfect. That's what we like. Now, should I be able to walk past this fellow? Let's see. Very, very slowly and steadily. 
Okay. That would be a success. I want to put this down, but at the same time, I don't trust that it won't make a noise that'll turn him around. And honestly, I don't need that book anyway right now, so let's just avoid it. I also know people have told me, uh, avoid buying into the whole run away from combat thing. Like, I should be able to... Oh my god, whatever. You can have it, you stupid rat. I'm just gonna go out the door. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth on my attitudes toward combat. Sometimes it makes more sense, sometimes it doesn't. At this moment, I felt like, let's get to level 2, and then we'll decide about future combat scenarios. A lot of the time, you don't have an option about whether or not you have to engage, and that was a time when I did. Or at least I had the impression that I had the option there, and, you know, there could have been the case that maybe because of the way audio travels or sound travels in this game that maybe that guy would have woken up, but, you know, he didn't, so... Let's take advantage of that for now. Uh, like I said, there'll be plenty of opportunities for us to be forced into combat where we will instantly be killed. And so far, we're still alive. Alright, I don't know what I was trying to do exactly with that skull. Oh, there's our exit already. Uh. <laughs> Alright, sucks for you, I guess. Uh, I guess we're going to fight some bats now. Alright, slime the one, wreck the other. That worked out pretty well. Oh, there's a, there's a grumbly fellow over there. Um, shall we fight him? Well, I need to find our leveling orb. That, oh, he might have woken up there. I'd rather not get involved with that. Oh, watch out. We got a scythe monster of death down. It's not actually a monster. It's actually a, like a mechanical trap. But it might as well be a monster for all I know. Uh, looks like he hasn't woken up. Oh, oh no. No, we don't, we don't need to talk to you. I mean, if you want to walk into that thing and get killed, then by all freaking means, you have fun. Alright, seems to be able to understand when that's going to trigger. Oh god, how do I get through here without waking everyone up? Let's just... Oh, there's a chest. Okay, quietly kill the rat. We've got a decorated chainmail. And I know it's, it's opportunistic and ideal in a lot of cases to go after the grumbles and try and steal their stuff and use it against them. Uh, and honestly, that's what I should be doing. Uh, what's this guy gonna... Is he gonna leap? I never know how far or when these guys are triggered to leap. I would like to get over there, though. Uh, ideally not by rolling into this lava. Oh, alright, whatever. You're, you're out of the way now. Alright, well, I don't actually have any reason to be over here, so never mind. Um, I really hope I don't just flub this jump, even though it looks so easy. I mean, it is, but... Angles in action can be a little strange in this. Also, where am I on the map right now? We should probably investigate top left corner in case the leveling orb is over there. It looks like it's all sealed off, uh, with the exception of maybe the top. But let's see. I haven't done enough experimentation to know. Watch out for any potential traps. I'd like to go check out that potion, maybe. You get dead, rat. Where even are you? You're gone now. Okay, one and two. Gold potion, we're going to store you for later. Maybe use that and get an advantage somehow. Um, I don't see any traps here. Okay, we're good. What on earth just happened with that slime? Oh my god, there's rats though. That means you're dead, right? Oh yeah, I should be eating everything. I freaking forgot to just eat all of these balls of goo and stuff. No freaking harm in having extra health, right? Why am I... Maybe so hesitant about it. So in case you aren't aware, holding potions will eventually yield two different tips. Uh, if you hold it long enough, it can, you know, basically give you a good idea of what you're holding, perhaps. Or at least that's the hope. I don't know 100% of the time if it will, but it seems like it does. What is this? Uh, which Is this the one that gives me double jump? Because I really like this book. Magic 101, no. Uh, what does this give me? Wizard throw, magic blast, whirlwind regenerate. I never remember this one. Um, so I actually can take Regenerate. I think I will. Oh, it put it over the other one? I don't know how magic works yet. Maybe someday. Alright, let's eat another ball of slime. Oh, I'm poisoned! <laughs> Great timing since I just picked up Regenerate, isn't it? Uh, Alright, I guess we'll Regenerate now. If we could, like... Stop being poisoned would be lovely. Come on. Oh my god, this is the most persistent poison of all time. Just leave me alone! Why was I even able to know that that slime was poison when it was? 
Okay, we'll use our other one. So that was basically a complete uh, waste of all time. Oh, the poison's still back going again. Fantastic. Well, we may as well go up here. Not sure why I didn't do that already, actually. Got a mushroom. And what are you? Healing stop. Still poisoned. How could I possibly still be poisoned? How long does this stuff actually last? Down to one health again. Bat got wrecked. Eat the bat. Don't eat the skull. I don't know what this potion is. Oh, there's the orb! Oh, finally. Took freaking long enough. Okay, watch out. Didn't actually mean... Oh, no! You're not who I wanted to see here! Don't screw me! You're gonna screw me! Oh, my God! I knew he was gonna screw me. Oh, I did it anyway. He was just far enough off, off the screen that I didn't see that he was there. Oh, I feel like such a jerk now. I should have just hung back for a second and, you know, see what I, seen what I could have done about that before I jumped in. All right, Venomous Hatchet, then. I think my pacing was a lot better on that game, though. Even though it didn't yield particularly fantastic results, I feel like we did at least do some of the right things on that run. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can replicate some of that minor success here. And by minor, I mean extremely minor. All right. Maybe we'll fight. What is this freaking rat doing? Did you see that? Rat, you've got to go, man. You're, like, doing some kind of cannonball freaking Street Fighter move right now. This is not a thing. Oh my god, stay still, dude. Yeah, that's right. I disintegrated you into a ball of tar because you're dead. That's, that's how it works. Um, I kind of want to drop this rock on this dude's head. <laughs> it worked, <laughs> kind of. Oh no, the slime's got to get involved too. Can't you ever just leave me alone? <laughs> How do I go from having that big of an advantage to introducing one new element and then being dead? It's unbelievable. Every time. Every time. Warhammer of Heat with four health? Ooh, I'm kind of into that character. Let's do this. Let's play as this fellow here. Okay. Off we go. I've already got some grumbles. I should probably just kill it. Stop being a coward and running away from all my problems. You. Freaking slimes. There's no reason I should be taking any damage from slimes. You guys are just piles of scum. And I don't have to take it anymore. There's two traps there. Don't let off the duck. It's a common saying in Norway. Not sure why. Um, no more traps, right? Oh, I see a gas trap over there. Let's kill this guy and eat his slime balls. How about you? Yep, melting ball of goo. There's there's some health. And we're at 4 out of 5 now, which is good. And there's also a chest up here. Oh, wow. A little spring in my step. Uh, 2 defense for 2 speed. We'll stick on what we've got. Didn't mean to fall down. Thankfully, no piranhas yet. Watching out for traps. Looks like we're safe here, but I'm definitely not going over to the left because it's not necessary. Pretty sure I could get through the other way without having to deal with all of that mess. Uh, three pressure traps there, one there, and just the one it looks like. I still got the rock if I needed to drop that down for the sake of argument just to, uh, you know, eliminate a, a variable from the situation. Oh, look at you freaking guarding the leveling orb like a big old jerk. How am I supposed to do this exactly? I guess I could kind of sit up here and, like, poke at them when they get too close. But there's always the risk that if this doesn't work... Ugh, of course, I just wasted that rock. If this doesn't work out right, well, they're just going to poke me before I can get to them. Uh, so I should probably taunt. See what happens. Oh, I just got the one. Also, my, uh, my hammer seems to have lit up there, which uh, I guess due to the taunt, maybe I get a little bit of a bonus. Can I just hit you through the floor? That would be really ideal for me. Taunt again. Yeah, I'm really... I'm trying to piss you off, but you don't seem to care. Alright, that's one way to do it. Got it. Fortunately, uh, well, I don't know if we needed this potion or not. Let's throw it at the... Oh, okay, I only missed. Now, I think I could probably just get this without fighting this guy, but... I don't think that's a good idea, right? Okay, he called me a turkey! You gotta burn. 
for that burn. Alright, leveled up. Just skip the crap, basically. Let's just get right into the good stuff. Let's put a defense and... Reduce some damage from traps. It probably only takes one away, to be honest, but... Oh, God! And a bat! Where did this freaking bat just come from? There's no way that bat was there before, was it? Alright, let's eat a ball of goo. Uh, and we're at full health. Good. Pink potion. Stow that for now. Let's see about some loot. No, don't eat the corpse yet. Let's see what the loot is. So we've got very fast rapier sword and shoes with no stats and a jacket with nothing going on that I really care about. So let's eat you. It's charred. Yum. And, oh, there's a torch. What about you over here? What might you have? Nothing. All right, you're getting eaten too. It's just a real risky maneuver, considering even even if you feel like you've made out on that exchange, you know, killing them and having that all kind of go the way you want, you could always still end up in a position where you end up poisoned from eating their body or something without expecting it, or, you know, God forbid you get a bone stuck in your throat or some stupid thing, and then you end up dead anyway. Um, you notice that your pink potion feels light, as though the bottle contains nothing but air. Interesting. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's empty. That could be. Wait, so let's test this out, actually. I want to stand in front of this mushroom for a sec and watch if my health bar starts to turn a little green. Because I was told that that's how poison works. No, I didn't see it. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so that is true. And down here, if I stand underwater... Yep, starts to turn blue. And then once that fills up, you start to take damage. So good to know. I guess we don't need this torch anymore. Might as well not burden myself with it. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no, I thought those were another trap in addition to those. No, I know what these are. So we're just gonna, like, fall directly on the spikes is actually what I was gonna do right there. I was planning that. Uh, that was basically my strategy, was die on the spikes and then complain. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. I, I missed that jump. Just straight up just missed that jump. Stick of rending, three health, halberd of force. I don't know what force does still. They all have three health, though, so it's not quite ideal. Clean longsword might be worth it with four. Defensive. Yeah, let's go with you. It's great how we're like picking the most fit for battle to get basically instantly killed. It's a like, tough break, buddy. You seem like you were so ready to go, like you had a long future ahead of you, but unfortunately for you, I'm just gonna have you killed now. It's a tough break. Alright, let's not bother with these grumbles over on the right yet. I'd like to see if we can maybe find the leveling orb first. Dark arts, uh, sure, we'll, we'll look into that in a sec. Okay, safe over here as far as I can tell. What is happening here? There's, oh, it's one of those houses with a whole bunch more grumbles in it. Okay, not interested really. And they're gonna go on patrol. Thankfully I got out of the way before they came over my way. It's my way or the highway, and I'm going to send them on the highway, and I'm going to hit them with a car, because that's the only option at this point. All right, blue potions are potions of regeneration. That's good to know. Should have probably saved that. Didn't. What are you going to do? Uh, I guess we'll take strength again, and let's put on a heavy lifting and see if we can be unburdened by heavy items for once and see if that helps us out at all. I'm going to guess probably not, but whatever. I mean, I need to become a little bit more opportunistic when it comes to looking for advantages, I think. I mean... Again, I think I'm doing a little bit better, but I think there will be a point when I'll become, you know, leaps and bounds better, and it'll be obvious that my gameplay has transitioned from one point to the next. Have I found my exit? I don't think I have yet. You freaking rat. You're always invisible. And now you're dead. Is it worth it? I'm gonna eat your body. So I, it looks like I've got to go through the same crap again. Repeat past mistakes and all that. Maybe I can... Use dark arts, grab a whole bunch of stuff from these encampments, and then maybe find myself dead for other reasons. I don't know. A bunch of missile damage scales with magic. Let's just put regenerate on again. It's a truly handy thing to have, unless you're poisoned, evidently. Uh, is that three? It's totally three of them, and one of them has a potion. Oh yeah, somebody told me that uh, they'll always give you positive potions, which is pretty wild. Why did I just use regenerate? I didn't actually mean to do that. Yeah, Alright. So apparently they can actually do 4 health. Uh, so maybe that was because my damage or defense was low or something, but 
you know, lesson learned. Someone said if you just take a character with three, that you should be safe with four. I mean, rather, if you take a character with four, you should be safe on three. Nah, not, not the case. Sorry to say. It's always the case where you're like, you're getting all these good tips, but then you've also got to like, take a lot of them with a grain of salt, because some of them are coming from people that have just watched other people play it and haven't played it themselves. Not that I'm necessarily calling anyone out here, and, you know, maybe I'm still misunderstanding what happened in that last case, in which case, I apologize. Uh, but, not every tip is gonna be the best. Still gotta learn my own way through. And that's part of the fun of playing this, honestly. I mean, even though I don't mind the tips, I actually, I look forward to them and I, I try to implement them whenever I can. Uh, there's always a chance that some of them are, are gonna misguide me or mislead me or cause me actually more harm. So I've gotta really find my own way, no matter what happens. What do you have? Boots and sword. All of it sucks. We're gonna eat you. What do you have? Nothing. Eat you. Should really try roasting some more slime balls. How about you? Maybe you'd be a good candidate. Let's roast your slime balls right over the open fire. Like so? Nope. Is that... Oh, eat it. Done. Yep, that did actually give me the health back. See, that's one you can bank on. Free 1 HP for every time you eat a melting ball of slime. Never thought I'd say that, but, you know, never thought I'd say a lot of things on YouTube, to be honest. Okay, which one are you? I still don't... Go to hell? Alright, let's go over here. I saw that come and still walk directly on it. I was in the process of trying to uh, press down. There's like a slight delay when you do that. All right, so I don't have any more melting slime balls for options, so let's see if we can get up there without... How do I not... Okay, I just... Uh... Duck, thank you. It's... Oh, I didn't mean to eat the mushroom! The controls sometimes are really bothering me. <laughs> let's go for attack speed today. We'll go for trample enemies. I want this. Let's trample enemies for once. Don't worry, I'm not long for this world for very long here, so probably won't get a chance to use it. Yeah, it serves you right. Oh, this is our last of five, isn't it? Eat the bat. Alright, we're back to full again. I'm not going to bother with that. I mean, the potion might be useful, but oh well. Oh, it's the same trap I hit before! <laughs> that time I didn't see it, which is the best part. Okay, and I'm back at one health again. Some things never change. Mostly me being at one health. Okay, can we make this ball of slime melt? Well, we could throw it in the lava, that would certainly do the trick. <clears throat> How about we get off this freaking ladder? Is there a torch around? Maybe up here. Weren't any traps this way, right? I think we're pretty much good to go. Was that a bat? No, it's just a bit of my blood it looked like a bat eye. So we're gonna throw that. Now there's a bat! So bats really do just like spawn out of thin air sometimes, it looks like. Just to like give you a little, little surprise hug. <laughs> not a fan of that, actually. I kind of wish that that was not a thing that could happen. I understand there's always an air of unpredictability when it comes to this game, but I don't know, I feel kind of like you should be able to know when you've cleared out an area and just, like, be safe in that area from that point on. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight. There we go. What do you have? We've got a crappy sword that I don't want. Eat your body. And up we go. What do we have? Just a slime? Oh, thank you for testing that for me. I have full health again, thank goodness. Was this a regeneration? I forgot which, uh, which era that happened in blue potion we don't have that identified yet I see you. oh you see me huh potion of poison guess we're not eating you then wow you had a lot of hp and a lot of gold oddly enough not that that really seems to matter very often it's not like i get a lot of opportunities to spend gold <laughs> and it even killed the freaking fish down there all right let's go through our door that floor went aside from that spike trap issue went okay I suppose. Gotta really stop knocking over the torches. That's a, an old habit that needs to die immediately. I don't know what I'm setting up with that. Oh, okay, that's gotta be... It, the switches almost always, if not always, have been a lava raft giving you a way over. 
And uh, I need to just, you know, keep that in mind. So I had Stampede, right? Or was that again the last? I freaking lose track so quickly which ones I had and which floors. Yeah, that character died already. Oh, I had a double jump. Yeah, let's take that. I'm hoping this is a freeze potion. And I think we're going to toss it. No. Oh, what did I do? Yeah, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Watch out for any kind of pressure plates. Foul aroma seeps from your orange potion. Ooh. It's cool and smelly. Okay, watch out for cool and smelly stuff. It's not as cool as it sounds sometimes. Let's go over here. Kind of just gently do a little bit of a parkour move. I feel like that rat's about to mess with me in a second, because they always do. Okay, mushroom and a bat in a kind of an inopportune position here. Especially with that slime. I guess I could take... Oh. Okay, let's light it all on fire then. That works. I don't need any health or I'd grab the slime ball and try and toss it on the fire, actually. What is up with you? Why do you have so much health? Eat the bat. What's purple potion? Have I seen you yet? No, I didn't mean to throw it. Well, I don't know what I can test this on. How about you? It still lived! Why are the uh, the slimes so strong? And there is a trap there, by the way. I hate how often those trick me. There's also a trap over here, too. So we're just gonna have to go through it. They're not... Well, oh, there's not one over here. I'm honestly shocked. Lucky me! Lucky me. What did I just get? Oh, don't get poisoned, though. Oh, I am poisoned. I freaking waited too long. Super duper. Super duper? I don't feel very super duper. I don't feel very super duper. Game. I feel dead. That was Michelle. She was a level two bully. And now she's dead because of you and your crap. Freaking spike traps. Somebody should add up how many times I've died to spike traps in comparison to everything else in this game. It's probably like 50% of the time. Ugh. All right. Well, we're going to cut this episode at this point. I still feel satisfied that even though I didn't make any particularly amazing progress, I did at least demonstrate that I am aware uh, of a couple more new facets of the gameplay and maybe a little bit more spatially aware as well. So I still welcome any more tips if you guys want to give them as long as they're not spoilers. Don't tell me about new bosses or events or things I've never seen. Just, you know, let's focus on honing in the gameplay of what I've figured out so far. And uh, I will eventually try the other character class, but for now I'm still going to stick with the bully. Uh, I've still got a long way to go before I feel comfortable trying different elements of play. And uh, I think I'm trying to eliminate variables so later on when I open them up they don't seem quite as foreign and scary to me, if that makes sense. So that's been another episode. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like on it. Look forward to bringing you plenty more of these. And at the time this goes up, I should be at PAX right now, so I'm not going to be able to address comments uh, right away. But I, uh, I will be doing a few more of these in bulk. So anyway, I'll, I'll let you know when I get back in the next episode and have read through everything. Uh, but continue to feel free to leave as many comments as you want. Uh, you don't need to tweet them to me. I read the comments right on YouTube. So, you know, no sense of urgency there. Don't worry about it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. I will talk to you next time.